Okay, so I tried the new quesarito from Taco Bell and... <laughs> Oh boy. Hello everybody and welcome back to more Legend of Spyro, a new beginning. In the last episode, which was quite a while ago, we took a little mo we took a magic carpet ride on a minecart, which is now currently drowning in lava right over here. You can't see it, but it happened. And in this episode, we're going to continue on through Munitions Forge and hopefully find Exhumor, Moliere's less than humorous brother. So, these guys, just use your icicles on them, and preferably over the edge they go. Bye guys. I'll send you a postcard from the great beyond. Yep, this guy too. Over the edge, sir. No, 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 no. You fail. You fail at going over the edge. Oh, I'll you. Mm. Okay. Just watch him die. Just watch him die. There we go. So now. Da 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 da. Herp -derp, herp -derp -derp -derp. That's what I say. That's what I said. I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. Frickin' bats. Get yourselves over the edge. I, I just did rhymings. Also, for some reason, in this. This specific one portion of the game, when you hit enemies over the edge, and I don't mean this specific portion, I mean this this cliff right here, when you hit enemies over its edge, sometimes it'll go in a slow-mo and a different camera angle. I don't get why. This is just weird. But they are gone over the edge now, because life is life is amazing. Let's see. Hit, hit them. Hitting all of them like right now. Whoop derp derp I don't, I don't know. So how are you guys been? I've been I've been decent. Uh, eh. as far as the whole weight loss thing goes, I haven't uh, haven't made much progress. But then again, that's because I've been getting kind of lazy with it. So how are you guys been been doing? You having a good 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 summer? The summers summertime loving loving in the summertime. Going. Going to the beach, gonna do some beachy things. I was at um, Lake Shore Park yesterday, Geneva on the Lake. For any of you who don't, uh, who live in the Northeast Ohio area, uh, went over to Lake Shore Park. We have lots of uh, amusements. There's like, it's basically just a bunch of shops and food stores and stuff, all located like right on the strip, kind of like uh, Las Vegas, but it's basically the f the county fair without any of the rides or attractions or anything. Alright, Mr. Scorpion, I don't like you and you don't like me, but one way or another, you're getting over the edge. It's kinda like over the hedge, but instead you die instead of watching a movie. I'm sorry to mention it, but that's how it's gonna be. Give me your gems, alright. Alright, alright. Did, did you okay? Did you give me give me your gems. Give me the, the gems. And right on cue bats. Have I mentioned how much I hate bats? They're in, like, every single game I let's play. They were in Zelda. They were in Kingdom Hearts. They're in this game. I'm pretty sure they were in Ratchet & Clank. Also, this happens. Why? What? 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 Apparently, they have teleportation powers or, like, can defy gravity or something. Also, you're slowed down. How can... No. Just die. Freeze to death. There we go. Thank you. Alright, so, getting more gems here. Now, you may have noticed this place as an abandoned mine shaft sort of, sort of place. Now, there's something I'd like to point out about this place in a little bit, but I am getting to that. That's in a little bit here, that's going to be a minute or two. Now, uh, I don't know, you guys played any good games lately? Why don't you tell me in the comments about your favorite games in the world? Oh my gosh, minecart. I've been playing Xenoblade a lot lately, Xenoblade Chronicles for Wii. It's, it's pretty amazing, but I must say, it's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> if you're if you're a first-time player like me. See, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do some grinding to be a tad over-leveled because I'm not so good at this game and blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, I grinded for like three, maybe even four hours to get like, you know, four levels ahead of where I'm supposedly supposed to be. 
Even that did not help me. Okay, like... There's a boss, right? That you can only damage... Well, okay, bad bad time to jump. Bad time to jump. Uh, even worse time to jump. Even worse time to jump. Also, if you fall down, these platforms will come down and get you. One of them will. Somewhere. I know... There it is. There it is. One of these platforms will come down to get you. So it's not totally unforgiving. Anyway. <clears throat> so there's a boss, right? You can only damage him by inflicting two different status conflictions. First one is break, and the second one is topple. Whoa. <clears throat> first, yeah, first one is break, second one is topple. And then he only stays down for maybe, like, I'd say 10 seconds. And you have to hit him within that 10 seconds, and that's how you bring his health down. Well, guess what? This guy has, like, five or six minions all all tacking on you all at the same time and then yeah all tacking on you at the same time meanwhile he's also doing the same thing to you and he has moves that can like instant kill you he has moves that have like 3,000 power and for those of you who know what I'm talking about playing Xenoblade and that point in the game blah 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 that's a lot just for reference's sake I'm at like level 25 maybe something like that and it's the one boss that you fight in the pit. You know, the one with the metal face that can actually talk, or at least the first one that you come across. But guys, if you do play Xenoblade and you want to tell me about it, please, no spoilers. No spoilers, alright? Here's here's the way I go through it. And yes, I discovered the game through Chuck Connor's Let's Play, so the way that I do it is like, I'll play through the game to a certain point, and then when I get stuck, I'll wait for his LP to catch up with me so that I can get some advice on how to do it. Oh hey, look, another little little mole guy. Hey, what's up, bro? Wait, 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 we're on your side. More likely spies for the conductor. For you wanna move a few of those uh, muscles there? there. No, Moliere sent us. My, my brother is alive. He sure is, pal. He's all safe and sound. But I gotta say, he's the friendly one in the family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In these dark times, one can't take chances. Oh, Monier is alive. Oh, wonderful news. <laughs> hmm. Well, well he, he said you might be able to tell I said, still no. Also, I'm getting a lot of... I'm not sure if that's like a constant static that's in my microphone or something like that, but the, the sound, the bar, is like not going down at all. It's staying at halfway and moving when I talk, sure. It's not supposed to stay at halfway. What the heck? Alright. Now it's closer to my mouth. You guys want to hear my breathing? Okay. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. No more. No more. I refuse. Then... It's off to karaoke. No, 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 game. You cannot refuse to acknowledge what just happened to Spark's face. No, no, no. No, no, no. Here. Here's a screenshot of it. No. <laughs> okay, so, as, man, uh, as Moliere just said, we have to break all the cages and free all the man balls in this area. Sounds simple enough, but remember when those minecarts were, like, you know, going after us and blah blah blah, trying to ram us off the track? Um, where were they coming from? You would expect, like, some sort of minecart docking station or something back here. Uh, no, it's just, it's just busted up minecart rails. So anyway, your fire breath is your best friend here, because not only can you detonate the bombs, you can also, yeah, you can also use it to push these guys around a little bit into the lava, and yeah, it's just all together, it's just all to, just the fun times, they never stop. Also, he's gonna drown in lava. No, he's not. Alright. There we go. He actually backflipped into it of his own accord. Alright. I cannot take responsibility for that. He's, he's gonna die. Oh! That is, not, not that I honestly think about it, that's like really unbelievably cruel. He just kind of pelts them into the lava. Jeez. Jeebus. Also, for those of you who might be wondering, um, as, as of right now, yeah, I put out some new Pokemon episodes, maybe like four of them, but as of right now, I'm gonna focus on Spyro until Spyro is done, because it's not a long ways to the finish. It's really not. There's like maybe five episodes left, I'd imagine. So, I'm gonna spend this week trying to pull out, pull the rest of Spyro out. Play, play me some Spyro. Play me out, Paul. 
No, 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 good sir. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you have to die. It's all right. Here, have some earthquake. Actually, earthquake's also pretty useful in this area because you can push them around a little bit. All right, so earthquake, electricity, freezing. Fire! How's it feel to be dying of hypothermia, burning alive, having all your bones broken, and being electrocuted at the same time, good sir? No, no, no. Into the lava with you, sir. Mwahaha. Alright, alright. Kill him. No, no, you do not. No. No, no, no. No. Also, for those of you who might be wondering, uh, this is what my level ups are looking like right now. I actually leveled up Earthquake Breath twice because I love Earthquake Breath. I should probably level up my icicles because they're pretty useful in this area. Maybe give my uh, my primary Frost Breath a little bit. No, actually, wait, no, no. I'm gonna use my remaining power here to finish out this one, which I still did not do because that last one takes a lot of power. Yeah. All right, is that all of them? No, wait, no, it's not. Let's use the Earthquake Breath finish off. This one? There we go. Good job, bro. Yeah? Yeah? We just, uh, yeah. Have some fun down there. Oh, I see you two crazy kids found each other. Yes, at last! Thanks to you. We're just disappointed you didn't leave any fun for us. I don't know. Maybe next time. So now, which Wait, didn't leave any fun for- Wait, 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 more. Exhumer, what were you gonna do? Smack them around with your little shovel? When you say be careful, does that mean try not to That thing is the size of something a toddler would use to make a sand castle. Also, I don't see a handle on it. Okay, well. All right, so let's go on in the door of magical amazingness, and we're greeted with monkeys, of course, monkeys. No, 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 you guys get out of here. Also, something, um, something you guys might be excited for. Um, okay, I got a, I got a little explaining to do here. Um, Mario Galaxy Versus is dead. I'm sorry, but it is. Um, not only is the game super duper long, and we don't really have the time. To record it together, we're not, we're both kind of busy, I guess you could say. That, and not to mention, there was, I had a bit of an accident with my computer a little while ago where I basically mass deleted everything by accident. We had some episodes recorded and we didn't, um, I basically screwed everything up, so that's, Mario Galaxy is not gonna happen. Um, Banjo Kazooie Versus, though, is still alive and well. However, Greg's up, not exactly being, um, cooperative about it, he... Okay, the Master Elite affected Banjo-Kazooie vs. 2, and I understand that he doesn't exactly want to play back through the game to, for everything we've already done, but... Yeah, I did it myself, and it doesn't take that long. It'd take maybe, like, an hour and a half. Because we weren't that far into it to begin with. And, yeah. He, he said that he doesn't want to do it anymore, which I do understand, but we still have to f follow it through anyways, because, yeah... Also, ho holy slow down, Batman! Alright. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're gonna get back on that. Banjo Kazooie vs. is definitely not dead. It's probably gonna be finished by the end of summer. Uh, now nah, get, get out of my face. Whoa. It's probably gonna be finished by the end of summer. And the actual good news that I was going to tell you guys about just a minute ago. Uh, I'm going to be doing Ratchet and Clank versus with uh, Blaze Fur. As you might know, I did a Sly Cooper versus with her a while ago, and I. Well, I'm not going to ruin the outcome of that. Go watch it on her channel. But I must say, the end, it's kind of anticlimactic what happened in the ending. However, Ratchet and Clank versus is going to be probably happening sometime towards the end of July. Because Ratchet, okay, for those of you who've played Ratchet and Clank, you know what I'm talking about here. It's very, there's a lot of variables. You know, there's what weapons are we going to get, uh, what what paths are we going to follow, uh, what worlds do we have to go to, what items do we need, you know, all sorts of different stuff like that. So we're going to have a little brainstorming sesh sometime. 
And yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be on my channel, I'm pretty sure. Unless she, unless she really, really wants it on her channel. I mean, God knows I do have enough stuff going on here right now. I don't necessarily need another project. Then again, Mario Galaxy Versus is kind of dead, so that does make room for it. Also, what am I doing? Use your electric beth, your electric beth on these flies. Yes, beautifully constructed sentence because it targets them, and yeah, they can't really do much of anything. They just kind of sit there and squirm around for a little while and then die. So that's helpful. So take a look. It's in a book. Killing beetles. Do, 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 do. Let it be, 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 in words of wisdom, let it be, let it be. Also, I'm kind of wondering, how does my electric breath read like this trail? Like this weird gooey looking trail on the ground? It's kind of, it's kind of strange to me. Alright. So, let's see this is. Now, if you can get it just right. Let's see if I did it. No, I did not. I hit the buffalo beetle. Alright. Let's try it again. Did I? No, I can't. I need to hit that box of dynamite down there. Alright, fine. Have it your way, game. Ow. I hurt myself. Also, these guys won't attack you for some reason if you're just standing right here. I don't get it. Also, maybe get away from the dynamite. Wait, what? It's, it didn't blow I lit the fuse. It should have blown up. This is not wanting to blow up, so I'm just going to, like, light it directly. Boom! Alright. Have at thee, scorpions! Slow-mo! I'm gonna deal with the next one with electricity. All right, see how see how good you do when you can't control your own muscles. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention these guys could do that to you. There we go, and use fire on the last one because why not? And for those of you who might be wondering, yes, I suppose I will LP the second one at some point, just not for a while. Not for a good long while. Because after this, and since not, many, not many people watch these videos, I can feel confident giving this spoiler right now. Not, uh, yeah. After this game, I'm probably going to be doing Sly 2. No, no I'm going to be doing Ratchet and Clank 2, and then Sly 2. And then probably a new Zelda game. Not gonna say which Zelda game I want to do, but I know which Zelda game I know which Zelda game I want to do. I'm just not gonna say it. And then after that, probably Epic Mickey because I love that game. But yeah, I'd say that just about does our episode in here. It's been uh, 18 and a half minutes, so yeah, that just about calls it an episode. So thank you all for watching this episode of Legend of Spyro: A New Beginning. I've been Chilly27, and if you enjoy this little ditty from the city. Please uh, like and comment, and of course, if you if you really, really want to, you can subscribe. I mean, psh, I don't know why you would want to, but you can. You can, and I think you should. So, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.